Well, hello everyone, and good cat day to you. We are back to an arcade full of cats, and we are going to our last time period. We are going off into the future, into the year 2000. This is our last time period in the base game. So, like I was saying earlier, if you guys are enjoying this and you want to see me play some more, let me know, and I might consider getting the DLCs. Now we can go back to the 1800s, 1700s, or even back into the prehistory of BC time. But right now, it's the year 2000. Alright. What do you got to say? Here we are in the 2000s. Messing with these games was a lot of work. These rhythm games are a blast. So much content without dripping into our treat budget. I bet there are tons of secrets waiting for us to uncover. Well, the first is, are there any secrets out here? So let's do the normal suspects. There's one. Save the earth. Oh, there you are. You're hiding up there in the corner. Are there any more? On the manhole cover. Behind the tree. Does not appear to be in this other car. Alright, let's go in. Okay, so. Let's see. House. Of, what's that? House of the dog? That makes sense. Any cats? Medieval Munis. What's this? It looks like a DDR, but it's like paw something. Neko Tag Permanent. That's a cat, right? Yep. Are you a cat? Are you a cat? Yes. Nanko no Tatsujin. <laughs> I've never seen this arcade uh, machine before. That looks really cool. Because I played the, um, let's say it was PS2 version of this, and it had the little drums, and you played it with the sticks. That was really neat. You have a slug. Mouse versus cat com. <laughs> oh, you're a mouse and a cat. Oh, that's our game we're going to play when we find the uh, coin. But we also got to try clicking on things to see if there's like cats hiding in them. Expecting to find like a cat hiding in a uh, a coat or something. Now, to the best of my knowledge, there's no really complicated cats to find anymore. Like we had to find that Mario Brothers cat. Up, up, down. I think there's there. I get the feeling there's another code that I'm forgetting about. Neko Neko and Evolution. There's a cat hiding down there. Third scratch, stray fighter, Doberman. Oh, you would think in this bag there would be a cat. Crazy catsy. A couple of cats in 
here, aren't there? I gotta be, I gotta be careful of those. Ex-Cat Street Fighter. Love Cat, there you go. Maracas. Sambo de Gato. <laughs> Cat in your system tray. We're doing okay so far. Got a few more hidden cats to find. And if things get tough, we can always uh, hit the hint button up here. miss you. I probably clicked on you and didn't realize it. some in the yarn. I think that makes sense to me. Some, like, some of them don't make sense. Like, you click on the litter and then a cat pops out. Hello. Alright, two more. Hat. Hat and cat, you know, it's like it rhymes.
Why, why did they... I thought that was like a mirror or something. I guess it was like um, one of those medicine cabinets. Alright, we did it. But now it's time to play Bust a Bug. Alright, a garden full of caterpillars. Help Mr. Cat Gardener catch them all and promote a better environment for everyone. Alright, so we're looking for caterpillars? Little caterpies? Now these stay highlighted. So I guess that's good. Now a couple of them I see. Some of them I'm just clicking on and hoping. This one's not so bad so far. That other one with the bugs I had a hard time with. Oh look at this, we're practically done already. Alright, these last few might be a trick though. zoom in. Like I said, a bunch of these I'm just clicking on and hoping. Some of them I like recognized right away. There's one. Come on, last one. Let's go strong. Let's find it without having to use a hint. Not a big deal if we do use a hint. Oh, is that it? Nope. You hiding, little bug. Ah, there you are. And we did it. We got all our batteries. We've collected all our cats, we've collected all our batteries. What do you gotta say, guys? Oh, secret level, 2020 x So we're not done yet. We got one more episode. And I guess I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Alright, so just to be safe, I checked what 2020X was. It's not its own level. It's the end of the game. So let's click on it and see what we get. We finally returned to the present. But nothing has changed. It seems like all our effort was in vain. Maybe we can't change the past, but every action we take in the present can alter the future. But how? It's simple. Spread the love and fun, as we did during our journey. 
Who knows, along the way, we might build something to make the future of all cats better. You're right, big bro. Let's make this moment a start for something better. Oh, there they are. And Giovanna, Giovanni hiding in the back over there. <laughs> Alright, so I guess that was an arcade full of cats. Thank you for playing. The fight for a better future for cats is not over. You can buy our DLC and help cats in real life too. We hope our game spread the love for felines and away raise awareness of cats, rescue and adoption. Every time you buy a dev cats game, you're helping real cats as well. Love and purrs, the dev cats. Alright, so that was cute. That was a fun little game. Like I said, these kind of like, find the hidden object games are not really my kind of thing. But it was a cute thing for Catterday. So, like I said before, if you enjoyed me going through this, and you want me to check out the DLC, let me know, and if I get enough feedback, we'll give it a shot. And maybe we'll send a little money to some sort of a cat rescue. So, as always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next game. Take care.